What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, we're talking the Air Flight Hirachi Nike gear. So stay tuned. Alright man, I'm back with another video man Before I get too deep into this video Y'all already know what to do Go and hit that like button It really helps the channel out And if you're new, consider subscribing I make content about sneakers Alright, so let's dive into today's video just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking the Air Flight Hirachi Nike gear. All right, man, we're going to be keeping things very simple over today. We're going to be answering a basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release July 15th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $125, right? Okay. And of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now, Look like they're going below retail at $116 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay. Now, this is Air Hirachi's, and I want to just look back, kind of just at my phone, just to make sure I'm getting everything correct. So, July 14th is that actual release date is what we have on the Sneakers app. I think I said 15th in the beginning, so forgive the kids. So, on July 14th. Now, Air Hirachi's flights, right, are... Air Flight Hirachis, we seen these drop literally last month and that was the OG colorway. This is kind of like that high top version. I know there's a low top version and I think, honestly, when I think of the Hirachis, I just think of literally a good gym shoe when I think of the low one. Now the high one I know is probably more performance based for basketball, but don't quote me on that. But this right here, if you look on the sneakers app, they're calling this the Coral Chalk, or Coral Chalk and Laser Blue colorway. But I think Nike Gear is going to be like the street name, right? Okay. And I'm all here for it. In fact, the OG Hirachis, surprisingly last month, actually sold out, which I am kind of not surprised. I mean, it did its thing back in the day. And I feel like this is another one of those colors that's going to definitely, it's definitely going to do its thing. And like I've been saying the whole entire time of these drops this week, Nike low key haven't dropped us with like no major crazy like super duper collab like to makers like all right I'm gonna have to just come off the hit with these but they've been hitting us with just enough to keep us still interested and I feel like they're gearing us up perfectly for summertime and I can't stress that enough now these Hirachis man I will say this this is one of those shoes where I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's not an OG colorway because I didn't follow Hirachis like that but it looks very similar, right? Okay, I mean, they just changed a few colors and boom, here we are right there, right? Okay, but overall, not a bad shoe. And to be honest, if I got to compare between that and the OG colorway, honestly, I love the OG colorway more, but at the same time, these necessarily not looking bad. Definitely give me like that late 80s, early 90s vibes, which I think that's kind of the vibe that these Hirachis kind of was going for back then. Probably didn't know that was the style or the it thing, but I can see where if you're going for like that more of a, I guess you can say, safe to say retro look, this is the shoe for you. It's definitely a dope shoe overall. Um, and I just want to glance back at it one more time. I just kind of glancing back at my phone with these. Overall, I will say this, man. Honestly, it just gives me straight, like, timeless vibes. It's a shoe you really, it's one of those where, I'm going to put it like this. If it was gifted to me, I would definitely appreciate it. But right now, man, I'm going to be 100. Not a bad shoe, right? But personally, I wouldn't write home about it. So personally, for the kid, they will be a skip. Not a, That doesn't mean the shoe is not bad, but I will say this. For the OG heads, I may put this like in like a different category. Maybe for like the older people that's like that generation I haven't just made it to yet, which I'm on the way there. For them, I could easily say drip. So overall, not a bad shoe, but a skip for the kid. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. Will you be going after these on July 14th? Retailing at $125. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, instead of subscribing, I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.